Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the birds and the silver and black. And it's coming up next on EA Sports. NFL football has come to Southern Nevada as we are in the menacing new Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. The atmosphere here electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at the Eagles, and this is going to be a heck of a chess match. This offense against a defense that will take no prisoners out there. It's going to be a big time battle, and I think that both of these teams have that mindset of, we're going to do what we do and make the other guys react to us. And we've definitely got a couple of headstrong coordinators who won't back down from a challenge. So this will be a battle of wits as much as it'll be a battle of brawn. Turn it. Here's Kenyon Drake. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here, running at the 30 yard line. The Raiders getting ready to go to work for the first time, and they're led by their quarterback in his eighth season now in silver and black, Derek Carr. And the rumors were pretty strong. The teams asked about him in the offseason, but for once, got a pretty firm not available from the Raiders. Now in his eighth season as a Raider, still yet to appear in a playoff game. But last year, really solid numbers again. A third straight 4,000-yard campaign, 27 touchdowns, just nine interceptions, and the highest analytical rating of his career. Derek Carr is one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL. And that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Okay, there's a tone setter. First play from scrimmage. Stuff him in the backfield. You know what they were doing last night in the hotel room? <laughs> Visualizing exactly know. that. That's what they were thinking about. Making that play. Having leverage. Lower than the offensive lineman. Getting into the offensive backfield. Knocking someone down. Just what you said. Set the tone early for this game. Jeez, you are fired up. When I see a play like that, I can't help it. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And a lot of talent on this Eagle defense, and you've seen it on these last two plays, both losses. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. You can bet they're not going to go away from the running game anytime soon, but this is obviously not a good start. Two carries, two runs, both stop for a loss. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. Here's Carr to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And third down is a key down in any game you play. Third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for let's and taken. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Well, here come the Eagles on offense, and it's Jalen Hurts at the controls in his second season now out of Oklahoma. A lot of expectations for Jalen Hurts this year, but he has the support of the franchise, including the man who owns the franchise. Had a four-game audition at the tail end of last year and did enough that the Eagles sent Carson Wentz to Indianapolis. They're expecting Jalen Hurts to be their quarterback of the present and the future. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 26.
He takes this for three to the 29. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense. If that fell harmlessly to the ground. He finds an opening past the 40. And he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. So the completion there, and CD, as we know, trying to defend against an NFL quarterback, that's one thing. Trying to defend against a mobile NFL quarterback, that's quite another. What's the plan here defensively? Well, the pass rush has to still try and get to him, especially the guys on the edge. But they're going to go maybe a... A count slower, right? They want to make sure they don't get too far upfield where he steps up and takes off through a lane. The same is true for those interior guys as well. So you've got to change it up with him, try and keep him hemmed into the pocket, and occasionally you throw a spy on him, a fast linebacker or one of your extra defensive backs who can dance with him. Hey, wide open, complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, 58 yards. And the Eagles are on the board first here in Vegas. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down and score points. You know what that tells me? They saw their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stuff it. And we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. They got it done. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7 zip. A drive there of just four plays, and it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The 3-0 Raiders taking the field again here, Charles. Uh, first time since the Super Bowl year 2002 that they can say that. Wins over Baltimore and Pittsburgh, weeks one and two. And then you called their week three game a close one. 31-28 victory over Miami. So that's three consecutive wins to start the year over teams that all won 10 or more games last year. That actually has never been done before in NFL history. What did you see from the Raiders, and what do you think of this team, Charles? I like them a lot because they've won a variety of ways. Look, they've opened their new building with fans, right? This is the second year in their new home stadium, but the first one with fans, in the first two games, both went to overtime. So they like hanging out with their people. And they like oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. Powering his way forward. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. A great pick. Nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it because he had visions of end zone in his mind going to be the total hero but we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore bring it back get the yardage and really help out your offense well, the Eagles offense again coming out here one and two on the season they were winners week one in Atlanta but since then have lost at home to the Niners and then on the road in Dallas Monday night week three and now coming up, the Eagles getting some tough games all in a row. Home for Kansas City week four. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A 
one-yard touchdown run for Miles Sanders. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. So out come the Raiders. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he'll look downfield for Waller. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Car. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Hunter Renfro is a man he was looking for. But now it'll be third down. Another incompletion there. That's five in a row now to start this game. He's got to take a deep breath now, step back, shake it off a little bit, trust his offensive line, and hope that his play caller dials up something that can give him a... And he will not get away from the pressure here. Car taken down. That's Derek Barnett coming in and making the play. And as we all remember, 2020, not the greatest of years for the Eagles as a whole, but you certainly can't pin it on their pass rush. They were absolutely terrific throughout the season. 49 sacks as a unit, the third highest total in the NFL, much of it generated by their front four. Here's A.J. Cole now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Throwing his Hurts. And he fires one incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver, and it's third down. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. From the gun, it's Hurts. And the Raiders have got him. Credit the sack to Jonathan Hankins. In recent years, pass rush has been a problem for the Raiders. Just 21 sacks in 2020. That ranked 29th in the NFL. What they just did right there, a better example of what they're seeking. Here's 
as the Eagles' new punter for 2021, Aaron Sipos, to punt it away. Hunter Renfro deep to return for the Raiders. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. All right, Brad, I know where they're only going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Not at all what they envisioned on third down, three yards in the wrong direction. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Las Vegas. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And this returnable for Rager. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And down to the 36-yard line here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That's 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. Running right, here's Sanders. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. First down, Sanders. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. And that will be caught, but out of bounds. Out of bounds, ruled incomplete here. Toward the
the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. And now some disagreement down on that sideline. The red flag is out, and we're going to get a challenge. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong. After review of the play, ruling on the field is so not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. Second and ten. They'll run with Sanders. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Here's Hertz rolling to his right. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Hertz dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five yard line. They come out with one back and three tight ends. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Jonathan Abram able to make the play defensively. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. They hand off to their big tight end, and he's in! Touchdown, Eagles! Zach Ertz taking it in from four yards out, and the Eagles had six to their lead. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half, and now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21 to nothing leads come and go in this league, but this one feels pretty darn secure. And here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it, in order to try and mount a comeback. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. That time, a nine-play drive, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Time again to see Josh Jacobs and this Vegas offense operate. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try and loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. 
And he will not get away from the pressure here. Car taken down. Derek Barnett picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they are getting at them. So after the sack, here's second and 14. Another try after the first down sack. Carr. And the pressure gets to him again. It's Ryan Kerrigan getting the sack. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. following the sack, looking up at a third and long. To throw his car. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Here comes Rager. A minute 55 left to go in the first half of play. Let's go! Remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. On first down, Sanders not finding a whole lot as he'll get four for about three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful, and that strength was on display there. Yeah, and this defense has had its share of problems getting guys to the ground, and here's another example. They never should have allowed this play to gain as many yards as it did, but poor tackling early in the play led to big yardage after the fact. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Sanders. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On second down, it's Sanders. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Sets up to throw it. Quick slant here to Smith. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. It's a gain of 20 as we wind down near 20 seconds left in the quarter. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just cannot find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion. And now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal.
A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. Touchdown! That's caught. Quez Watkins in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles will extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook, but even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Elliott Good with a PAT, and that makes the score 28 to nothing. time for one play on offense seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away the las vegas offense ready to start this next drive and with seven seconds remaining not much time to really do anything a first down run with jacobs won't get a whole lot maybe a yard but that's about all and it's second down So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. First things first, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for Philadelphia. And the ground game has been a big part of why they have this big lead. And you have to figure they'll lean on it a little bit more in the third and fourth quarters. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, they did not have the same kind of success on the ground. They struggled to get the run game going to this point, as you see there. Final adjustments being made for the second half. Whether they'll amount to much in a game that's already pretty well decided, well, that's another question. Nevertheless, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And the Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? You and me, trying to get to the airport. That's the roads true. would be fairly that, clear that is by the one time positive. we have to leave the booth. A little bit of daylight on that first down run. Sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players. Guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Call on a nickel set here for third down. Hurts. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 
44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Raiders will take over now, first and 10. And now Derek Carr, he is the focus of our player spotlight. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. <laughs> when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Well, hey, partner, in week three of the NFL, special teams was a big storyline. How about Justin Tucker? NFL record 66 yarders time expired the Ravens beat the Lions and then the Lions former kicker Matt Prater now with the Cardinals he tried a 68 yarder at the end of the first half it came up short and how about Jamal Agnew 109 yard return on the field goal miss that tied an NFL record yeah tied a record set previously by Cordero Patterson and Antonio Cromartie and let's face it it can't be broken right you can't go any farther than 100 109 because 110 means you're over the end line. But Matt Prater, he held the NFL record at 64 yards before Tucker broke it in the ball game this week. And how about him trying that one? I mean, and then of course, here comes the return because you got big guys on the field trying to block and they can't tackle in the open field. I'll just leave it with this. Justin Tucker missed a 65 yarder in warmups, but when the game was on the line, the adrenaline was there arguably the best kicker in football even though he got a little help from the post got it done what a dramatic ending we'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially and the offense will take over with a new set of downs philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look and on the last go around they really couldn't get anything going they had to punt from deep inside their own territory which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule what they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 26. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second and seven. Looking to throw. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an Eagle first down. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage not been very good. Soft in spots. And there's an easy throw and catch for another first down. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. You ain't going to burn me. Oh, yeah. Oh, not ahead of you, baby. I see you. See you over there. You scared. 
So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now Sanders. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 39, Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. Hurts to his former Alabama teammate Smith for an eagle first down. And what a year Devontae Smith had at Alabama in 2020. The first wide receiver to win the Heisman since Desmond Howard in 1991 while he was at Michigan. The 10th overall pick of the Eagles, who traded up from number 12 to get him. He's reunited with his old quarterback, Jalen Hurts, from a few years back in Alabama. 117 catches last year, led all of major college football. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Third quarter from Southern Nevada. Here's a second and 10. Back to throw here. He'll let this go for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Eagles open the lead up to 34-0. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive goes eight plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Jake Elliott taking off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Four down, four down. Car now on first down. And that's caught. It's Brian Edwards. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A gain of six there on first. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Play action. Now it's Carr. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now Carr. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here's A.J. Cole now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. It's taken to the 26. A nice return that time gets 12 go, yards man. back. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score 
here in the third quarter. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. 44, 44, Mike, Mike, 44. Hey. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he's got this down to the 35. 118 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll look to throw. Looking here for Smith downfield. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. And that almost their first INT in the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. He'll look to throw. This is Smith with a grab. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the ten to the seven. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. They'll run with Sanders. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Once again with Sanders. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you, you want are, two. Yeah, you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Trayvon Mullen. And he will take it on out to the 20-yard line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other. But it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. The Raiders heading out to take over. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. 
Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. To throw once more on second and ten. Carr. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Ryan Kerrigan able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. So now Carr and the Raiders dealt a third and long after that sack. To throw, it's Carr. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress, and that'll be a safety. Yeah, that's on the rookie first-round pick, Alex Leatherwood. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. This is fielded at the 27. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. With this lead and the football, things obviously looking good, but maybe, yeah, you've taught me this before, maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense helps them preserve that shutout that they've got going. And it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout. So take care of them, protect them, take care of the ball, move it downfield, run the clock down. You don't want your defense to have to go on the field again the rest of the game. Reward them. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from walking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that incomplete nearly intercepted. But remember, he had his hands on one earlier, had one pick. It could have been a second, but instead it's fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now, and if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going.
On first down, Carr. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Well, Fletcher Cox, he's been doing this for a lot of years, and another sack to his ledger there. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked out by Steven Nelson, and they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. The utter domination here just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. Well, it certainly feels, in this game, like maybe they're facing a Canadian defense. 12 guys on the field. <laughs> it feels like there's an extra on every snap because they have really struggled to make headway through the air. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll go again with Sanders. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? On third down, they turn to Sanders, and that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Loss of a yard and it brings up fourth. So fly, Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory.